Paul Phillips here with Pat Tech Photography and Gear Reviews. Uh, today we've got the Think Tank uh, Change Up version 2 for you and uh, what a great bag. I think this bag just went to our number one shooting bag to be totally honest with you and uh, you'll see why as I put it on. But a uh, really cool bag. I mean fairly compact. Okay. It can be used in three different configurations as a belt pack, a shoulder bag, um, or it has a really unique harness, uh, crisscross harness for your shoulders if you want to wear something like this riding a motorcycle or or just walking around on a busy shoot that kind of thing but um, a great looking bag nice handle on the top right up front you've got two mesh pockets here uh, there's a nice YKK, heavy YKK zipper on the top of the bag. You can fold the bag open like so. Um, I say, I call it a shooting bag because really I, I, it's got a number of uses, but for me and the way that we're going to use this bag for sure, 70 to 200 uh, fits in here, not attached to the camera, of course. Uh, we've got our wide angle lens on this side and I've got this slot empty so that we can take the lens off our camera and put this one in, pull this one out. That's the way we're going to use this bag for sure. Um, there's a quick look on the interior. There's also another flap here. Uh, so there's a pocket down the side here, but because you know it, it's contoured, you wouldn't want to shove an iPad in there, that's for sure. Uh, papers or some smaller items you could stuff in there. And you also have a little bit of space here, a little bit of space here on the uh, outside of the bag. Now I noticed on the uh, Think Tank website it said that there's a, a removable divider, the whole thing comes out, but I don't see that on this bag. I see it. it's fixed. It has one, two, three, four dividers. Uh, it comes with a couple of extras so you can set the interior up any way that you like. But uh, like I say, this is going to be a real usable bag for a pro, so let's keep going here. Okay. On the front of the bag, there's a zippered opening here. We've got our Pixel Pocket Rocket tied to the key lanyard. Uh, I've got a pen here. Uh, you can put some business cards, some smaller items in here, no worries. So we'll pop that back in there. I really had to look to find the rain cover on this bag. Uh, when I was into the zippered pocket, I could feel it. I'm thinking, geez, where is the rain cover? If you flip the bag up, on the bottom there's a little zipper here. And so, there's your rain cover stuffed into the bottom side of the bag. So I'll leave it to Think Tank. Somebody was paying attention. They've got it hidden well away. Okay. Both sides of the bag have the mesh pockets and it does fit uh, a bottle of water. You get one on either side if you're that thirsty. So that's definitely going to be usable. It's got a great handle on the, the back side so you can pick the bag up. It also has another sleeve or a pocket here. Um, you can get some smaller items, not too bulky, because keep in mind, we're going to use this as a belt pack shooting bag for sure. It's going to be against our waist. So I think I'd probably just leave this uh, interior pouch uh, empty. It's got a great uh, ventilated padding system on the back here, so that's another great feature. Okay. Top of the bag has two eyelets here where you can hook your straps on, and the belts are simply hidden on either side of the padded mesh on the back of the bag. So we'll just pull that out, and I've set this up to my, my waist size. I will not be revealing what that number is, <laughs> but um, you can easily put the bag on, like so and then just spin the bag around to the front. And the first thing I noticed was how comfortable this is just as a belt pack. I mean, my God. Like I say, we have the Speed Racer and we use it. That's our go-to uh, shooting bag for the moment, but this thing is gonna take over because it's more comfortable. But wow, really comfortable, easy access to the 7200 wide angle. I mean, it's right here. It's, it's just, it's comfortable as all get out. Okay. You want to take the bag off. Once you're used to it, you just reach around and, and push the clips and the bag comes off no problem. Uh, so the bag comes with a couple of straps and it looks like a monkey's breakfast at first to set this crisscross thing up. And once, once I've got the straps on, it really looks like a monkey's breakfast, but it, it's not bad at all. So let's go through it and you can see exactly uh, what you're in for. Just take 
the top strap like so and hook it onto the loop. On this side here, we'll hook this one on like so. And then the idea is, is that the one on the left, the bottom one, comes over and hooks onto the belt pack on the right hand side. And the one on the right at the bottom comes over and hooks onto the one on the left side. And one other little note too, I noticed that when I went to use these um, release mechanisms for the first time, they were a little bit stiff. And so I just put a drop of WD-40 in the slot here to just give them a little bit of lubrication and they're just like, you know, a uh, hot knife through butter now. They work really well, so no issues that way. Okay, so now you've got your, your crisscross straps here hooked up to your belt mechanism and you know at first you're looking at think god this is going to be a nightmare to put on but it really isn't what you want to do is you've got your little x configuration right here just just bring your left hand through like so and your right hand through like this and it simply comes over to your shoulder like that you know adjust it to your liking and then you can reach around and clip up your belts and you've got a shooting bag you know for us I love Niagara Falls this would be a great bag to do the falls with you're gonna walk around down there for two or three hours or more um, I don't care what anybody says a 7200 lens is a big piece of glass you carry it for any length of time you're gonna have sore shoulders with this setup here man it's going to be effortless. So, uh, like I say, I think this bag just went to number one on our hit list. Uh, also on the sides here for the belt pack, there's a couple of uh, tension straps. And, you know, you, you sometimes wonder why the manufacturers put these things on the bags until you use them. And it, it just pulls the bag in right tight and makes it that much more comfortable. So, and you've also got the same uh, tension straps on the back and Think Tank also uh, has provided those little cleats so that once you set the, uh, the belt pack to the diameter of your waist, the cleats will move in and lock so you're not gonna lose your position all the time. And to get the, uh, the system off, just release the belt pack first, you know, grab the straps. And there you go. And so that's the bag being used as a belt pack, um, the crisscross uh, over the shoulder harness set up, and you can take the cleats off. Sorry, not the cleats, but the, uh, the harness mechanism. Actually, let's leave this one on and take this one off. And we'll take this one off. And if you want to use the bag uh, as a belt pack, or sorry, as a shoulder bag, uh, like so. So the change up version two is the bag for, it's gonna meet everybody's needs. <laughs> You've got it as a shoulder bag. Uh, you can use it as a belt pack. You've got the crisscross harness for throwing it over your shoulders. Uh, I don't think um, Think Tank could have given us anything else. And just, you know, once again, the way we're going to use it, I think, is with the crisscross harness on, uh, having our lenses handy. We're going to use the camera. We'll have our camera free uh, on our R strap, and then we've got our lenses there to swap them out, and away we go. So, um, another good one from Think Tank. What can I say? Uh, it's priced right, I think it's about $140, something like that. Uh, so you can go and buy this one with confidence. It's super well made, definitely uh, extremely well thought out for sure. So once again, I hope that's been a help. Uh, we enjoy doing these, these reviews. We're going to keep coming back uh, with more in the future. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like us. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Okay, first mistake I ever made. Uh, actually not a mistake, but just one other little thing I wanted to touch on that I thought was really important about this bag, especially being a belt pack. Um, when you're looking in this angle here, you can see that the belt 
uh, it, the loops definitely are almost like grab handles on the side and it makes it really conducive to use the modular set or the skin set pouches uh, and just hook them on the side and that's definitely how we're going to use this bag is we'll definitely hook one of our pouches on the side here we can carry some smaller items that kind of thing uh, you could hook one on the other side if you want so it just adds another layer of versatility to this bag making it like two thumbs up for sure okay Thanks again. We'll see you soon.